Hello and hi, my name is Shweb Khan and welcome to MagSafter.com to another exciting tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be learning how to create GIF or GIF files. Right, so this is um, one of my templates uh, of icons. So I have got this icon here and I want to render a video in After Effects and then I want to um, create a GIF out of that file for the web, right? So now this is the icon, right? Now it has got no background, right? So what we do here is it has got a size 375 by 327. If you want to have your own size, then what you do is just create a new composition. Go to composition, new composition, and here you can give your size. But what I usually do is I just drag and drop. It creates a new comp DIY mix two, right? Now the size it mentions here 357 by 327. Now you can increase or decrease the size. It depends on you. So go to composition and composition settings. And here, for example, let's say you want to have a 800 size, right? Now the size is pretty big. And the icon is small. Since it's vector based, so you can increase the size. Press S and the size is increased. You see pixelation. To remove the pixelation, you need to turn on the collapse transformation. Now you can increase it to any size, it won't pixelate because it's created inside After Effects with the shape layers, right? It's kind of, um, it is like vector, so it doesn't pixelate. Now the size is too big, so it depends. You know the size. Is, this this is the size agent by 698. So you can you know render this and create a Jeff out of it. So, but let's uh, for now create a smaller file, right? So go to composition setting and let's say it's a small file of 3262, right? Now let's just decrease the size. And this is the file now. And we want the animation to stop here, you know, like after two seconds. So we need to chop the timeline and bring it here somewhere. So these are the markers. It exactly tells that from zero to two seconds and eight frames, it will be rendered. As these are the markers, you know, rendering markers, right? And after that, it will restart, you know, it will be looped, right? So go to composition, add to render queue, and this is the render queue. So this is the one that is checked. So go to best and settings. So this is best and settings, size is 300 by 262. Leave the rest as it is. And now you go to lossless. And here we'll select quick time. Or videos for Windows, it's up to you. And here, a channel uh, if you need transparency, it's RGB plus alpha, right? And then, you, if you need audio, you can click on the audio, right? But I guess in GIF, there is no audio, right? So, we leave it as it is and press OK. Now, you give it a part, for example, DIY Mix 2, I've given it a part, right? Now, go to save. So once it's all done, and there's another way of uh, stretching the size. We go to stretch, and you can proportionally, you know, scale it down from here as well, like 200 or something like that. But for now, we don't need it since we have got own, our own size. So we go to press OK, and then we render it. So it's pretty quick. It's render, you know. Now that it's rendered, now we go to Photoshop. Right, now we are here in Photoshop and I go and open that file. The good thing about Photoshop is you can now import videos. So now this video is imported, right? Alright, so now we've got our video in Photoshop. So you can also see it plays here, right? Right now, so we go ahead and file, save for web, 
and here we have got the settings from here we select GIF and I usually keep it to selective and transparency on and all these things and the size is here and this one looping is once if you want it looping then you go and change it to forever right so from here you can increase the, and decrease the colors you know and by the size file size increases from here so I usually keep it to 64 or 32 you know to keep the file size small and then you know I leave the rest as it is you can try these settings so and when it's done you go and save it so DIY mix I've saved it when it's location it's done right now we go and play this is the file that we just created It's 158 KBs only the original size was what 15 MBs right now you see a preview open with Internet Explorer as you can see now it's looping and keep on playing right that's how simple it is so that's how you create you know your gif or gif files pretty simple with photoshop render it uh, the file in after effects or bring any movie you know and say open it in photoshop and then just save for web you know and that's it file save for web right that's how simple it is so I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, my name is Shwetram from Max After. Assalamu alaikum and goodbye.